Hi everyone, I hope you all are fine and you are enjoying the video. So the addition one is completed. Now I'm going to start the subtraction, the length is subtraction. How can we do? We will do the length is subtraction in an easy way without carrying and borrowing. So let's see what is the topic. We are going to learn in this complement. We have already learned many more uh, about the complement. That means what is the complement? Complement is the complement of 9 is 1. The complement of 1 is 9. That means we will get 10 in the addition of any number is known as the complement. Right? So here you are seeing 1 plus 9 is 10, 2 plus 8 is 10, 3 plus 7 is 10, 4 plus 6 is 10. That means any number, suppose it is 6, so what will be the complement of 6? 4, because the addition of 6 plus 4 will be 10. So this is the complement. Now next is complement we have already learned many more about this. Match and mismatch. What is match and what is mismatch? 6, plus, six and 4. That means when the upper number is small, bigger than the smaller number, uh, lower number, that is match one. That means six minus four is two. It is simple. It can, uh, this, uh, these all questions can do, uh, LKG kindergarten students can also do easily. Seven minus three is four, eight minus four is uh, four and six minus three is three. This is this called the mismatch number. That means match number where the upper number is bigger than the lower number. It is match. Now what is mismatch? This is the mismatch. This is the mismatch where the upper number is smaller than the lower number where the upper number is smaller than the lower number this we call the mismatch so you have to remember this match and mismatch the next number is match or mismatch you have to see this so match means the when the upper number is bigger than the lower number and mismatch is when the upper number is smaller than the lower number now let's see some question uh, so, so let's solve some questions subtraction with the match and mismatch method so it is six minus one is five is one write it one here what you are seeing in the ones digit this is a mismatch number upper number is smaller than the lower number so write it whenever you will get the mismatch number in the next column you just write it minus one here now complement of seven is three so three plus four is Seven. Write it seven here. So one minus one is zero, and seven is the answer. Simple. Without borrowing, you don't have to borrow. Maximum the student confused in the borrowing one. Again, seven minus five is two. It is a mismatch number because upper number is smaller than the lower number. So write it minus one here. Then complement of six is four. Four plus four, eight. Write it eight here. Now. 2 minus 1 is 1 and 8. 18 is the answer. Now again, 8 minus 7 is 1. Complement of 9 is 1. 1 plus 3 is 7. 1 plus 3 is 4. Sorry. 1 plus 3 is 4. Write it 4 here. But what you have seen here, it is a mismatch number. Write it minus 1 here. It is 0 and 4. 0 and 4 is the answer. Simple. It is too easy way without borrowing without borrowing. 5 minus 3 is 2. It is a mismatch number. Write it minus 1 here. Then complement of 8 is 2. 2 plus 7, 9. So answer is 19. Simple. Like this you can do in the three digit also. Three digit also the same. The process is same. I'm doing uh, one and two, one or two for you. And after that, you can solve the examples with yourself. So six minus five is one, write it one here. The complement of seven is three, three plus four, seven. But it is a mismatch number. So write it minus one here. Again, it is a mismatch number. That means upper number is smaller than the lower number. So write it minus one here also again, then so complement of 7 is 3 and 5 plus 3 is 8. Now it is simple. 
1 minus 1 is 0, 7 minus 1 is 6, and 8 is the answer. 68 is the answer. One more I am going to explain you. After that, you can do these two questions with yourself and do the practice. You can see that the how easily you are getting the answer. 7 minus 5 is 2. It is a mismatch number, so write it minus 1 here. Then 6, complement of 6 is 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8. Again, it is a mismatch number. Write it minus 1 again here. Then complement of 8 is 2 and 2 plus 3 is 5. Right? Now it is easy. 2 minus 1 is 1. 8 minus 1 is 7 and 5. 1, 7, 5 is the answer. So do these two questions with yourself. It is a practice for you all. Now let's see one more example of two digit, three, four digit number. One more example of four digit number i'm making you understand and after that like this you can do many more questions easy six minus five is one write it one here it is a mismatch number so write it minus one then six complement of six is four four plus three is seven write it seven again it is a mismatch number write it minus one here first then complement of three is seven seven plus four is 11. No, sorry. It is not a mismatch number. Just see, it is not a mismatch number. So you don't have to do this step. You don't have to do this step. Just be clear. It is a match or mismatch. So I, am, I have taken the example of both the questions. Match and mismatch. It is a mismatch number. So write it minus 1 here. It is a simple number. So you don't have to do minus 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. Simple. Right? Now it is a mismatch number. So write it minus one here, not here. Five uh, complement of seven is three. Three plus five is eight. Now what you will do? One minus one is zero. Then seven. Then one minus one is zero. Then eight. Seven zero eight is the answer. Okay. One more I am going to explain you. Seven minus five is two. It is a mismatch number. So write it minus one here. Now complement of seven is three. Three plus five is eight. Right? Now, what are you seeing? It is a match number, not mismatch number. So you don't have to do anything. 4 minus 2 is 2. Write it 2 here. Then it is a mismatch number. So write it minus 1 here. 8, complement of 8 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. Now simple. Do it without borrowing. It is 1. Sorry. It is 1. Then 8, 2 minus 1 is 1 and 5. Right? So do these two questions, practice with yourself like this. If it is five digit number, four, uh, six digit number, seven digit number, you can solve it easily. I hope you enjoyed this method. So thank you for the class. And if you like it, just subscribe it, like it and share it. Thanks a lot.